Hey guys, so today we're making stuffed portobello mushrooms. What you'll need is some portobello mushrooms, some spinach and arugula and uh, walnuts to start. First, we're going to make our uh, walnut cheese. So I added about two cups of walnuts to my blender. I'm also going to add a cup of coconut um milk and um water and i'm just going to cover the top of the walnuts so as you can see the water just covers the top of the blender getting my blender to full speed see I had my walnut cheese blending for over three minutes as you can see my cheese is a very nice consistency this is the consistency you want your cheese to be have so now you just want to transfer this to a bowl okay so now after you've transferred your cheese to a bowl you want to have a big bowl full of cheese and a small side bowl now we are going to season to taste and here are the seasonings that I use okay here are my seasonings onion powder uh, pink Himalayan salt omi seasoning onion salt and I'm also going to add the juice of one whole fresh uh, key lime. So this is how my cheese looks with all the seasoning in it and I'm just going to stir it in like that. And now I'm just going to set this off to the side because now we are going to hook our portobello mushroom also you also want to season your little side bowl but on the side bowl we're gonna do something extra we're gonna add some crushed red peppers and you'll see why in a little bit okay so now we've unpackaged our portobello mushrooms and cleaned them off with this fruit and veggie clean, this is really good. If you guys have this in your store where you live, you should get it. Really great stuff. So now what I'm going to do is take a spoon and scrape out the inside of the portobello mushroom. Cut off this uh, stem and save it. So this is literally how it looks. I, I literally just took a spoon, scraped all this, the veiny stuff out. And took a knife and just trimmed out the stem and I'm putting that all of that over to the side because we're gonna eat all of this goodness okay so now that all of the mushrooms are deveined and the stems are off we have them over here to the side we just want to lightly season them because we're going to throw them into our cheese batter along with our arugula and spinach okay so now we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees right so now it's time to take our cheese and get our arugula and spinach and put it in mix it in so I wound up adding one full bag of arugula and a half a bag of spinach. And this bag is seven ounces. And I also put the veiny part of the mushroom and mixed it in. 
we're going to save the stems for a, um, a topping. And now you just want to begin to stuff your mushrooms. Uh, before you stuff, you want to put a little bit of grapeseed oil inside of them and maybe some onion powder. And then you stuff it up just like that. All right, guys. So now after you stuff them, you add your toppings. This is um, the sun-dried tomato. I add the rest of the mushroom, um, some green onion, and some basil. If you have some basil, um, fresh basil, use that. I didn't. I don't have any. But anyway, um, and now your oven should be ready. And you just pop these in the oven for about 15 minutes. And here they are, going in the oven. While the mushrooms are still in the oven, I decided to um, cut up some sweet peppers to add, um, just for aesthetics, really. And in a minute, we're going to assess to see how the mushrooms are cooking. Add a little more cheese and the sweet peppers. Added sweet peppers and a little more cheese, and now we're going to... Put it back in the oven for about less than five minutes. Now during these last five minutes I've taken my Brazil nuts in a grater and made some Parmesan cheese. And here you have it, stuffed portobello mushroom, arugula, spinach, sweet peppers, green onion, Brazil nut, Parmesan cheese, and my spinach and kale mix.